to uh, troubleshoot and uh, fix a um, airbag or SRS light on your dashboard for a 2002 Honda Civic. Uh, this problem seems to plague this model year and a couple model years prior, I want to say from like 2000 to maybe 2006. Um, it's a uh, sticky um, micro switch in the driver's side seat belt. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot it and how to correct it. To perform this task, I'm going to use a uh, uh, jeweler screwdriver and a uh, piece of wire I have there as a jumper and uh, and some uh, alcohol. First to show you the problem that we're having is the SRS light right there for your supplemental restraint system which is your airbags uh, is detecting a fault and um, we're going to troubleshoot the code. I already know it's a 9-3 code, which is the driver's side uh, seatbelt buckle switch is uh, faulty or not indicating properly. All right, to verify the, this is the problem we're having, is I jumper the first pin on the top right-hand side of your uh, diagnostics connector. I jumper that to the fourth pin on the bottom. One, two, three, four. With the piece of wire I have. Just like that. We now will go to the run mode and watch the uh, code that's flashed at us from the SRS light. So it comes on. goes out. Now we count the flashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three. So we got a 9-3 code. We uh, go to Google and we uh, look, up, look up the code and it indicates, as I said before, the um, driver's side seatbelt buckle fail, uh, fault. What I do now is I disassemble the buckle using that special bit, my screwdriver here. And my guess is, well one thing is this buckle gets used the most, obviously every time you drive you're going to have your seatbelt on and it gets crudded up. So it's just those two screws, you pull this out, and here's our culprit right here. It's, there's the finger, and you can hear a click, it's activating a micro switch every time you put the seatbelt buckle in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to clean that up, I'm going to use uh, alcohol and a swab and try and clean that up. Now to get to it you'll probably have to pull the other side of the buckle cover off as well. So I'll proceed with that. It just pops off the bottom and comes right out like that. Now this exposes the whole micro switch. piece right there. So now I'm just going to clean it up even though it doesn't look too bad right now. The wiring looks okay but uh, that's what it, what's giving us our trouble. I've got 
just some rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab. And I'm just gonna kind of pull this back and activate it, activate the switch. Kind of get that, see if I can get the alcohol to work in into the switch. So it's got a rubber boot that goes around the, the little knob there. And you just gonna try and work it so that some fluid gets past, and actuate it a little bit to kind of move the alcohol inside. Now, this may just be a Band-Aid, I don't know. But, as far as I know, the only other alternative is to replace this whole buckle, which I haven't done the research, but I'm sure it's not cheap. And uh, for me, it's not, uh, I mean, I don't mind doing this from time to time if I have to, because this is just my extra car, my work car, so I don't mind getting in here and tinkering with it from time to time anyway. So now we're gonna reassemble our buckle. It just goes right back on there like that. And put this back in there like that. And then reinstall our, our screws. But we're not done yet because once this code is activated, this fault, it's uh, locked. It's a locked fault. So now we have to go in and reset the code to get the light to stay out. So we got to go back under, gotta go back underneath our dash. So we can get a good camera angle here. And we're gonna pop this bottom cover off. like that and that reveals some more connectors but mainly we're concerned with this guy right here this yellow one we're gonna jumper that and that'll reset the code for us all right so I'm gonna reach inside here and try and pull it connector off it's a little clip on top and you see it's just a, a two wire connector so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, well what I would do is short it with my my piece of wire again and stuff but we got to actually do a little uh, procedure with this so what I'm gonna do is uh, I got two longer pieces of wire so you can see exactly what it is you have to do to uh, reset this. There's one wire here. Stuff him inside. Like that. Right here. So I hold the wires together like this. We're gonna put the key in go to the run position, the light comes on. The light goes out, we separate the wires. Light comes on, we reconnect them. Light goes out, we separate them. And then it flashes and it stays out. Code's been reset. See the seatbelt lights on, but that's because I don't know my seatbelt uh, plugged in here. Seat belts on, start the car. Lights are all out and we're happy. Mission accomplished. And there you have it. SRS light out, we're ready to hit the road again. Till next time.